This is the legit reviews review of the ASUS Rampage Extreme showcasing the Tweakit application that's built, built into the motherboard. For those of you that don't know, Tweakit is an application that lets you adjust the voltages, the overclock, and monitor the voltages, temperatures, fan speeds, and CPU uh, frequency. To kick things off, I'll show you the four menus. You've got hardware info, dynamic overvoltage, dynamic overclocking, and the BIOS selection utility. Jumping into the hardware information, you have the voltages, temperatures, fan speeds, and frequency. Jumping over to voltages, you've got a slew of options available to you to monitor. I find most important to monitor CPU voltage, as I'm typically most concerned with that. Uh, if you go over to temperatures, you can monitor a bunch of things too, north bridge, south bridge, PWM, and then three optional ports. And these optional ports let you attach probes anywhere on the board. I like ramming one into the video card and I like putting one on the hard drive and lets you be able to easily monitor these things without putting your finger on them as the video cards tend to get quite hot as of recently. Going to the fan speeds, I've only got one fan header plugged in, but it's a CPU fan header and showing about 2100 uh, RPM which is about average to what that fans are uh, rated for. And then going to frequency, it shows you the FSB right now. I'm at 315 FSB, which is slightly lower um, than the stock FSB for this board, but I've got it dropped down a little bit just to showcase this utility. Now if you go over dynamic over voltage, you can adjust the DD, oops, sorry, DDR, Northbridge, the V-Core, VTT CPU, the CPU PLL, the Southbridge um, uh, input-output voltage, the Southbridge actual logic voltage, and it lets you do anything really. I mean, I found this to be an immensely useful tool. Um, say, you know, if you're running a utility in the, or you're running a benchmark and your memory keeps crashing, you know, bump it up a little bit. And then if you know, say the CPU is also having problems too, you know, then bump it up a little bit. And as I said before, these are all uh, saved into BIOS. So if you're really trying to find, you know, that fine, you're trying to fine tune your boards, you know, to Use the least amount of voltage as possible and keep it as cool as possible. You can, you know, bump it down a notch. We're on a benchmark. If it crashes, then you know, no biggie. You know, just bump it right back up. And if it doesn't crash, then great. Then you found a new uh, stability point. If you want to also dynamically overclock the board, which is huge, I use this uh, basically for tests that involve single-threaded and multi-threaded benchmarks. Um, things like PC Mark or the 3D Mark series, as of lately with uh, the quad-core tests in it like 3D Mark Vantage and uh, 3D Mark 06. So like say if you're running 3D Mark 06 and you're running the game tests one and two. Well, these are really easy tests for a processor and they only stress one core, so you can get away with you know pushing the FSB up considerably. But say you know you're running now it, it jumps right into the CPU test and you know you're gonna crash if you don't if you're running those speeds. So you know drop it down to you know three 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 and complete the two CPU tests and then bump it right back up at the end of the test so you can get along uh, along your way and you know, you know maximize your score in this uh, with this benchmark. Uh, the last option available to is the BIOS option and it lets you select the boot from BIOS 1 and BIOS 2. You can see on the edge of the screen right here there's a BIOS chip right here and right next to it there's another chip and you can adjust between the two. What I like to do is I like to have BIOS 1 be my air volt my my um, my air configuration and BIOS 2 be my liquid nitrogen configuration so that I can have two utilities saved or two BIOSes saved. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video showcasing the Tweakit application, and I look forward to seeing further implementations of this from ASUS, and I hope that other manufacturers will catch on to this idea, as it really helps out both the average consumer and the extreme overclocker.